Hello and welcome back to 10 Minute Enterprise. This is the S2D part two. Uh, in this video, we're going to configure our cluster. We've got it set up now. Uh, we have our cluster name. We have set up the IP address. Uh, we have even created uh, the S2D pool and created a virtual disk that we can store our virtual machines on. And everything else should be pretty good to go, except that we're going to do uh, a, a slight configuration here for our network. We're going to come over here to live migration settings and we're going to make sure that cluster two and three networks are selected. We're going to uncheck the box for cluster network one because that is our management VM switch. So we're not going to use that for live migration. We want that for only VMs to communicate across. So, All right, so now we're going to come over here to our cluster name and we're going to right click on it and we're going to say more actions configure cluster quorum settings and next and we're going to choose advanced quorum configuration next we're going to leave it to all nodes next we're going to configure a file share witness and next and i've gone ahead and set up a file share on my domain controller just called it share i'm going to click ok and next and next and finish okay and we have our file share witness created now and we can even see here witness is file share witness under dc 101 slash share now that if one of the nodes uh, does happen to go offline or fail the cluster itself should remain up and running so everything should be good to go there all right we're going to do another thing here we're going to come over here to start type in hyper v Okay, and here is our S2D1. I'm gonna go ahead and add the other servers. Just because it's easier to manage everything from here. Okay, and if we select S2D1, we're gonna come over here to Hyper-V settings, and we're gonna change these default paths. Oops, cluster storage, VMs, okay. And we can just copy this, paste it in there. Um, under live migrations, we're going to choose uh, these IP addresses only. If they're, they're already selected for us, which is good. Uh, two simultaneous live migrations is fine. Under this, we're gonna choose SMB because we're using RDMA. Uh, storage migrations is fine. Enhanced session mode policy. I like to check this box. You don't have to. Uh, it just makes it uh, so that you can resize the windows and copy and paste things a lot easier through the virtual machine connections. All right. Now we just hit apply and OK. And now we should be ready to go in and actually create a VM role. We're going to say virtual machine, new virtual machine. Choose a server to put it on. Say next, give it a name, just test is fine for now. Uh, we're gonna and store the virtual machine at a different location. If you notice, it already has this selected for us, which is great, that's what we want. And we're gonna hit next, give it generation two. Uh, next, give it a network. Next, uh, that's fine. And go ahead and next and finish. And it's going to add it to our cluster automatically for us. And there we go. There's our first virtual machine. If we come in here, we can go to settings and we can see it's got a virtual processor, but here's uh, our drive and it's stored under C cluster storage VMs test slash virtual hard disk slash test dot VHX. And that is it. All right. That should do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will make sure that I read them. And in the next video, we will be setting up a Windows 10 client, installing Windows Admin Center, and then we're going to try to manage this cluster from there. Now, Windows Admin Center is free. You can get it online. It's really cool. And I'll show you a few things uh, that, are, that are, you can actually manipulate from it really easily uh, to manage your S2D cluster. It's really great. All right, guys. Until the next one, stay safe.